Hi everyone, my name is Tony Willey, and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Body Slide and Outfit Studio by Onius and Caliente. Along with uh, Caliente's Beautiful Bodies Enhancer, CBBE, by Onius, Jeer, and Caliente. Please make sure if you guys download any of these tools or the mod, please go ahead and endorse the authors. It always helps to make, show them how much you appreciate their work and makes them want to continue keep updating and improving their work accordingly for the community. And this will be for uh, Skyrim Special Edition and Mod Organizer 2 that we will be doing this for today. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're logged into your, Nex your Nexus uh, site and that your uh, Mod Organizer 2 is connected to your Nexus as well. When you do this, you're going to download manually to the to, to, to the to the to the manager. Click uh, download as you normally would. Okay, I've already done so, and the same with this mod as well. Okay, you just go ahead and click download, and then you can download it. Once it's done downloading to the manager itself, you're going to find here. You're going to click on body slide. You'll find under your downloads on the side over here. You're going to click. Make sure the names. Make sure the name is. You can change the name if you want. I usually put SSE. Click manual, and then I click OK. Now we'll replace it since we've already installed it. Now for Caliente's Beautiful Bodies. Click it. All right, everyone, so now that we have this here, it says Caliente's Beautiful Bodies. We have the, the name of it. You can choose between the body-wise. You can choose a slim, curvy, or, sh or vanilla shape. I like vanilla shape. You can choose between underwear or never nude. I'm going to do never nude for this video. Then uh, you can choose uh, dirt molds or the face pack. I like the face pack, so you can keep that there. I like the dirt mold as well and beauty marks. Those, are, those look nice. Bushy uh, eyebrows, bushy trim, uh, bushier. Now, if you're using the nude version, you can choose the pubic hair. I'm going to avoid that. And then you can choose the skin maps. I like the no skin maps. It makes it look a lot nicer. So we're going to click install. Click replace. Now, this part I will um, skip ahead so you don't have to worry about the loading part. Next, what we're going to do is I have already made... I've, you want to categorize your body slide. Usually, you'll find it in non-category or unchecked near the bottom of your load order. At the very bottom of the mods. In this one, I've already set them up for my models and my textures. So we're going to click on Caliente is going to be under my models, right? And then I'll use and Caliente also comes with its own textures, so you can be warned on that, okay? So when you're using your own textures, you can just go ahead and use Caliente's if you want. But I prefer using mature skin since I do really love um, the way it looks with the CBBE. So I'm going to go ahead and install that as well, and I'm going to show you on the load order how to set it up so it looks very nice and it'll work properly. Next, you're going to want to go to your utility, which I have set up for my body slide. I mean utilities, and it's right here, my body slide. Okay. Next, we're going to go to check. Now, this is the order you're going to want to make sure it's in on your on your load order. Okay. You're going to want to make sure that your body slide is is below Sky UI. Caliente is below um, body slide and outfit studio, so that way body slide can read this. It loads and make sure your skin texture here is below this because as this order goes I usually have it under priority so that way everything goes the way it's supposed to now you can organize this any way you want you can choose your categories down here with groups non groups and categories this is the way I like to do my my mod, my, my, my mod manager okay and it works very very well for me I've got my little system so however you do your systems up to you now you want these skin textures on the bottom here to override Caliente's if you're going to be using them and I'm going to show you what they look like in a moment now, next we're gonna we, we want to add body slide to the top here. Now this is a different body slide outfit studio that I have set up. This one is for uh, UUNP. I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. So remove. Now what we're looking to do now is add in the uh, body slide we just added here. You're gonna go up to your extensions. You're gonna click here, edit. You're gonna write in body slide and outfit studio. C B B E. Now the reason I'm doing CBBE is because in another video I will be making ap shortly after this one, I'm going to show you how to use Body Slide and convert the old Skyrim uh, presets for UUNP and UUNP and, um, to the new um, Body Slide, where you can use that old model if you want. Be warned that in that video I will give you some warnings on, on what to expect with that. But for now we're going to work with CBBE. Now you're going to go to your binary, you're going to go to your desktop, you're going to find your Steam folder. You're going to go to your Steam apps. You're going to go to Common, Skyrim Special Edition, Mod Organizer Directory, and then your mods. You were looking for the body slide that you named correctly. Mine was the SSE for, uh, version 4.41. Uh, version 4.4 SE is the one I made. So we're going to go to Caliente. 
body slide and you're looking for this before you start this I want you to right click it and run as administrator just in just to be safe to make sure it runs properly so you don't get any error messages run as administrator click yes this is for Windows 10 as well you want to click special edition choose that if you're using Fallout 4 you will choose Fallout 4 now that we've clicked this you're gonna still click it you're gonna click open now you're gonna click add click close now what you're going to do you're going to come down here to make sure there it is. Okay, click on this. You're not going to run it from here, actually. I'm going to show you some uh, some quick little shortcuts that make your life a little easier. Let's just say you want to build a body and you don't want to do it uh, through the little run button. You can do it always through your toolbar. So you click here on your toolbar and you're good to go. Or maybe you want to put body slide on your desktop. So I, you just want to log on your computer and put it on your desktop. That's fine. Now, as you can see here, when you first put it on the desktop, there's it's not the body slide icon. Well, the first thing you can you can do by changing this is right-click it, go to Properties, click Icon. Well, now we want to find the body slide icon, but where is it? We're going to go through our browsing files, and as you can see here, uh, we need to go through our the same process we did through our Skyrim directory, our mod organizer, our mods, because that's where it's at. It's in, we've installed it in our mod organizer's mod mod section, and find your body slide setup. Okay body slide can link these tools body slide and don't worry about clicking on the exe all you're doing is getting the icon from this click open as you can see the icons here click OK click apply as you can see over here it has changed and click OK and there you go there's your little shortcuts anytime you want to run body slide you can just open it up from here and build your body your bodies are here and I can show you real quick never nude and then we'll just choose um, seven base that's a nice little setup there's your body. And as you can see, the mature skins have actually shown themselves inside. Now, let's say I don't want mature skins anymore. All right, so we'll click out of here. Now, we're going to run it through Mod Organizer again. Let's say I don't want mature skins. I want the actual textures from Body Slide. I could just run Body Slide up here. Okay. Now, I'll just click Preview. And there you go. They're all set. Now, here's the kicker, though. If you build your body with Body Slide, with the textures enabled, and I'm going to show you how to see textures in here in a moment. It, this will go straight to your data folder, and I'm going to explain this in it right now. Now, click, click out of here. You're going to go to your settings, game data path. This is how you see the textures in body slide. Now, if you want to build your body, it's going to be through your data folder. It will go immediately into the data folder. And I got news for you. There is no meshing where you can get rid of it. It is very hard to see the mesh meshes. As you can see here, this is all the actors and stuff, your actual character, everything's here. And it shows you, you know, when you build it, it goes into the actual data game, game files. So what you want to do when you build your body, while you're building your body, you you're more than welcome to see that I recommend looking at textures but when you go to build your batch file right you're gonna wanna make sure you're in your mod organizer override folder you're gonna go to your Skyrim directory Skyrim special edition directory your mod organizer directory your mod and you go to your override folder here click OK click select click OK you are gonna see no textures this is perfectly normal when you're building your body through mod organizer this means that there's no it's not there's no game game or data pass here to see the textures. You're just seeing what's there. Okay? And the question is why? It's so that way when you use your body everything's working pro it's so that way when you build the body it goes to the override folder and not the data folder which o which could override the van the vanilla the vanilla games um, uh, meshes which is what you don't want to do. You just want to put it in the, the override folder so you can build your body and put it in your little your little um, load order over here now before we get started we're gonna we'll, we've already chose seven based of our body we'll go ahead and click never nude we're gonna build our body now I like to do it like this so we'll click and you can do it through your meshes I don't recommend building the body through the batch build at first I recommend just doing close through batch build so we'll click um, but this is just my own personal reference you can do it however you want. I mean, you can do this if you want to just do the batch build. So, physics, get rid of these underwear. Get rid of physics as well. Okay. So we'll do this. We're gonna do underwear. We'll do um, never nude. 
Make sure there's no physics involved. I will make another video about CBBE physics, but not right now. Make sure that you do not have the physics installed in this as well. Okay, so go all the way down. Unselect the physics. We'll go to batch build. Make sure everything is... So you're going to take your time and you're going to go through this little list to make sure everything's where it needs to be, okay? Every single armor. You do not want physics in your game if you're not using physics. And I will show you why, because it will crash your game. Make sure it's all non-physics. Okay. Everything's looking good. All right, we're going to click OK, and now you're going to build your batch. I will skip ahead as it does this. Okay. One more hint. When you build your body, make sure you're, you have a preset installed if you're using one, and make sure you're, uh, you have your, your sliders sit to where you want when you do your batch build. All right, now we're going to exit out of here. Now, as you can see, every single body should be inside the override folder. This is where you want them, and, ha and, and when you do your batch builds, okay? Everything will look nice and pretty. Here's your characters, there's your bodies, everything where you need it to be. Click close. All right, you're going to right click this, and you're going to create mod. Create mod. Okay. C, and we're going to write CBBE, body, and clothing. Click unchecked, go all the way down at the bottom, and there it is. And as you can see, your body has been built. It's overriding this, but I still want my textures, right? So we'll go back and I'll put my textures in here. And there you have it. Okay? And we'll load a body slide again real quick. I'll show you. Put your data, your game data path back. So see how you don't have textures? But I want to, let's say, maybe I want to rebuild my body again. But I'd, I, I want to see what the textures look like. Well, that's pretty simple. Okay? Go with the settings, go to your date, your game data path, your Skyrim directory, go to your data folder and click select. Click OK. Boom, there's your textures again. And you can build your body seeing what it looks like with the textures and how nice it looks. But remember, when you build your body, make sure it's in your Mod Organizer 2 override folder. And double check your preview, always double check your preview before you click the build button that it looks there's no textures. That means you're ready to build your body. Okay? All right, everyone. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you uh, help you create your body and install Body Slide and Outfit Studio along with uh, CB, uh, Caliente's Beautiful Bodies Enhancers. What do you guys think of this video? Did, you, did, you, did it help you? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you guys like my videos, please like and share with your friends. If you guys like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Once again, my name is Tony Wale. Thank you for the click, and I will see you next time.